Okay, so I've worked really hard, somewhat really hard. It took me a few hours to figure it out, but I think I've got it mostly there for the Steam Deck. So I was looking at a couple different options for how I could do this, like getting an extra SSD to upgrade it. And then at the same time, I was looking at, well, if I'm going to open it up, I may as well like do a reshell of it. And so I ended up opting not to do that because it's like, I'd want to do it all at once. And I know I can do this implementation in a different way, and it would probably turn out a little bit better that way than if I tried to do it the other way instead. So what I've done is I need to power off the Steam Deck and then reboot it because I have set up Black Arch on the SD card in here. And so if I hold the volume and power on, I believe it should pull up. Yep. Okay. Correct SD card is in. So this is the bootable one. It kind of took me a second to figure out which, which one I needed to put in to boot up, but this is it. So I've gone through a little bit extra effort to set it up right. And as you can see, it wants to boot up in portrait mode rather than the other way around. This, If you pay attention enough, SteamOS does the same exact thing. It boots up to where it's like in portrait mode and then flips over to landscape. So it's not the only case where it happens. It's not quite perfect, but we're kind of getting there. We should boot up here soon. That is not what I wanted. I might have to go in and redo some finicky things. It, it boot up fine before. I've had it boot up a couple times already. I don't know why it's not working this time around. I'm gonna turn it off. Come on, where's the magic sounds? There it is. Okay. We're going to guide it through the boot process. So we want to make sure that we have Neptune. I believe I wanted 6.1. So this is the actual valve. Oh, kernel that it is using in the valve repos. So I had to go and set up the valve repos manually so that it could boot into this. Okay, that, that's a good sign. So here we are on the desktop. I can go over and I believe mess with this display brightness. But it should automatically start up Steam here soon. So that I have a proper keyboard. Yeah, there we go. So I did set up Steam to auto start because I wanted to be able to have the keyboard, on screen keyboard with it on top of everything already. I haven't completely added. Uh, 
Oh, my friend. Okay. So now that we've got that up. So, again, I've got... This is also the Steam Deck version of Steam. So when I pull it up, it comes up with the keyboard and all my customizations. But when I bring up any controller configurator, it uses the Steam Deck as the controller scheme because that's what it detects. So Black Arch has a few things in it. I installed the slim version because the larger one, I could install everything else in it later on. So it's got a number of tools similar to what Kali or some of the others would have. So I could go fingerprint, and it most of it is actually just console programs. So if I go into Sniffers, you can see I don't quite have all the same ones that you would have on a standard one. So most of them are going to be console to help keep that smaller size that allows you to download it quicker and then later on can go in and mess with it. So the other thing I did add is I picked up a USB Wi-Fi dongle recently because then I can take my USB-C hub and plug it into there and I can have the antenna Wi-Fi inside of the Steam Deck itself connected to a network and use that dongle as my sniffer or I can use my dongle as a sniffer in any other system that I happen to have running anything. So I installed the Aircrack NG version of those drivers so that I could have that there. So you've got a good number of oh applications to go through and things that way. Games, obviously, I installed Steam, and part of the reasoning for installing Steam is also to allow for, in a sense, camouflaging. Because, obviously, Steam lets you go into big picture mode. And big picture mode looks just like... The Steam Deck interface, because that's what it is, is it is exactly a Steam Deck interface on here. The scaling is a little bit off, but that can be worked around. So you can add some of your more used utilities to Steam and be able to multitask and flip through those different things if the UI will come up. Okay, so we've got our standard Steam Deck interface. We can pull up a menu over here and a menu over there. And those that are the more astute will notice that some things aren't quite right. So I could set it so that it's larger and be done right there. And then I still have access to many of the things that one might be used to for power management. So it's basically, really what this came from is I came across a video where someone had booted up to Kali on the Steam Deck and was like, well, now it's a penetration testing tool. And they admitted to being kind of lazy, like I really didn't do anything special with it. And it runs it just fine for the most part. You don't get a lot of the like things that work out here, like some of the Steam Deck controls and full control over everything, but it runs on it. And I wanted to take it a step further, and so I looked around for the best option for a penetration testing distro and applied it to it and the different tools that I would need. So I put a lot of time and research into figuring out where the repo's at that with the Valve stuff, adding them to Pac-Man because I was for sure going to go with the Arch-based distro because that was going to be more compatible with Valve's packages that they have for SteamOS. So I could build my own SteamOS and this also has shown me the door and opened the door to where I could be like, well, now I can also feel less afraid of setting up Vanilla Arch on 
the Steam Deck and still create a full Steam Deck experience without having to go through Steam OS and I can have root at the same time and my own custom user and everything. So this kind of contributes to future stuff projects as well that I would like to do on top of it. So we've got everything here all set up and hopefully I can figure out the other things, but let's go. No. Anyway. Yeah, Steam Deck interface, pretty camouflaged if you're not looking too hard. If you're looking kind of close, you can see different tells us to what's going on here, like the display here. So, yeah, Steam Deck, pretty cool. It's a penetration testing tool now, and I thought it would also be pretty cool to do because it's people are familiar with the Steam Deck and know it can play games. And not everyone is aware of the power that it actually has. And this shows that you could have the Steam Deck as your penetration testing device or attack device while also looking like you're just being the dork that's playing games at work. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.